Hi, welcome. My name is Devani, and um, I volunteer and teach yoga at the Denver campus um, for Flatirons. So welcome to Flatirons Yoga. I'm really excited that you're joining me today, and um, we'll be doing an Easter flow. So as we kind of get settled and started, I do want to tell you that there is a playlist on Spotify that I've created. Um, you can see it in the comments section, so if you want to click on that and have a device next to your mat to play the music, you're welcome to do so. The, the name of this playlist is um, I Am The Light. So I Am The Light is the playlist we'll be using today, and I will tell you when to press play. So for now, just set your device next to your mat. Other than that, this is an all-level flow. If you have done yoga before, you're always welcome to um, add postures or add modifications. If this is your first time, know that you can back out of a pose at any time, come to your back. Um, if you are breathing, you are doing yoga. So my, my prayer for us is that we can use this time on Easter Sunday to collectively worship, um, to breathe and move our bodies as a form of praise, and um, enter into the presence of God. So with that, go ahead and make your way to your mat. We'll begin today on our backs. So as you settle down, place your feet towards the front of your mat. Your knees will be bent and lay flat on your back. Take your feet to the outside edges of your mat and knock your knees into touch. Draw one hand to heart and one hand to belly. I invite you to close your eyes. Begin to breathe. Draw a deep breath in through your nose and an open mouth exhale. Good, let's do that again. Deep breath in through the nose, fill the belly, fill up. Open mouth exhale. One final time, this time seal the lips and see if you can breathe for four counts in. Lift, seal, breathe out through the nose, four counts out. Settle into your space. Continue to breathe at your own tempo. And allow your breath to bring you here into the present moment. Give yourself the gift of these next 60, actually it'll be less today, about 40 moments. To come into the presence where God resides. This Easter flow, we find ourselves in an Easter that feels much different than years past. To me, it, it feels as if we are in the middle of a long and a collective worldwide dark night. In this pandemic, we find ourselves in darkness and those we love in darkness. The darkness of separation, of loss, sickness, and with loss, there's coming deep grief for many of us. And as I reflected on Easter this year, it, it became clear to me that perhaps now more than ever, we need the hope of the words, He is risen. He is risen, that there is hope and light and life on the other side darkness. So today, as we practice, we want to give us space for our hearts and our minds to take in the present moment where we are. Look back in history and remember that today marks the day that Jesus left a dark and empty tomb and walked back into the world resurrected. That that moment in history has forever changed the course of our lives. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time. As we breathe in, we remember that he rose from a dark and empty tomb. Exhale. Exhale hope over your life. This time, as you breathe in, draw your knees into your chest. And I'm going to ask, bring to mind what feels dark today. Be honest before God. 
Come as simply and honestly as you can right now in this moment. Good. Begin to rock side to side. Massage your low back into the mat. As you're ready, begin to rock forward and back the length of your spine. Good. On the third time, cross your ankles under and come to tabletop where you stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Reach over to the playlist if you have music or my playlist, I'm the light, and click How He Loves. Good. Keep your eyes closed. Where does it feel dark in your life today? And let us remember that Jesus promises and lived where he walked through the darkness to the, to the other side where there is light and life. Drop your belly, look up, fill up with breath. Exhale, find cat pose, press the mat away, shoulders towards the ceiling. Good. Inhale, cow, loose belly, look up. Exhale out through the nose, cat pose. Find two more cycles, breathe in. Exhale, dome the spine, breathe out. Good, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cow. Come to a neutral spine, make sure your shoulders are stacked underneath, excuse me, your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders. Inhale, reach the right arm high, and begin to spin out your wrist to the right or to the left. Now draw your gaze up, and as you exhale, thread the needle through and simply tap the right shoulder to the mat. Inhale, reach high once more. Exhale, thread through, tap right shoulder to the mat. Inhale, once more, reach. Exhale, thread the needle, this time stay. Melt your right shoulder into the mat, your right ear into the earth. Good. Draw the belly button towards the spine. And for more sensation, begin to walk the left hand long in front of you. Spider tip the fingers and feel the length through the backside body. Good. Stay there and breathe. So Jesus lay in a dark tomb for three days. He knows darkness. He was alone. He was surrounded in death. And I heard Pastor Jim once say, Jesus was trusting that God would bring him back to life. But in that moment, as he lay there, he didn't know if God would. On an inhale, reach up. Reach the right arm towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the right hand back to the mat. Jesus had to wait, and he had to trust his Father's promise. Inhale, reach the left arm high. Begin to circle out the wrists, to the right and to the left. Good, breathe in, reach high. Exhale, thread the left arm, tap left shoulder. Good, ignite your breath, in through the nose, reach high. Exhale through the nose, tap left shoulder. Good, again, inhale, reach. Exhale, thread the needle. Melt the left shoulder to the mat, left ear to the earth. Good, tuck up the belly and begin to walk the right arm long out in front of you. Spider tip the fingers. Good, Jesus had to wait and trust his father's promise. Whatever dark moment came to mind at the beginning of practice, I invite you to do what Jesus did. Can you wait and can you trust a father who loves you? Good. Bring your hand back to the mat. Good. Reach the left arm high. Replace the left hand back to the earth. Good. Step your feet back. Come up to plank pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Stack your heels over your toes. Now dome the shoulders up towards the sky like you do in cat. And drop your hips in line with your shoulders. Engage your legs and draw your gaze two inches in front of the mat. Good. We stay here for three breaths. We build heat. We feel the tension of waiting in the dark. But just as God fills our lungs with life, we can trust his promises. And he promises.
promised to bring his son back to life, and he did just that. Breathe in. Exhale, send your hips high, down dog. Good, make sure your feet are hip width distance. Good, your hands are underneath your shoulders. As you inhale, press away with your hands, press the earth away. Your hips begin to pike high. As you exhale, melt your heels towards the mat, your belly towards your thighs. Release the back of the neck. Good, perhaps you begin to bend one knee and the other, locking out your downward facing dog. loved Jesus back to life? Can you allow God to love the parts of your life that seem too far gone, too dark? Let God love them back to life. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Gently walk to the top of your space, rag doll. Send your feet to the outside edges of the mat. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Bend the knees, release the head. Fill your way forward into your toes. Allow your head to hang heavy. Whatever burden stands between you and receiving God's love for you, whether that's fear, whether that's anxiety, distrust, those feelings are real, but we can allow them to roll off the backs of our shoulders. Pull them at your feet. Instead, receive God's love for you. Drop your fingertips to the earth. Toe heel the feet together. Big toes touch. On an inhale, find halfway lift. Press your hands into your thighs or into your shins. Avoid your kneecaps. Good, as you press your hands into your legs, notice how the spine extends. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Press into your legs, allow your spine to lengthen one more inch. And as you exhale, ball pose, come up onto your toes, heels lift, drop your head. Feel the stretch through the backs of the feet that are likely weary from the road we've walked on as we approach this. Good, plant your heels into the earth, and now roll up one spine vertebrae at a time. So you straighten your spine, close the eyes, and draw your hands to heart center. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Notice that your legs engage. Now drop your booty under. Take your shoulders, stack them over your hips. As you draw your shoulders down, tighten up your core. Now press your thumbs into your heart center. As you press into your heart, we know that God presses into us. We look to Jesus to see how deeply he loves us, that he would send his son, that Jesus came for you and for me, for all of humanity. So as we build our flow, I invite you to simply say, Jesus, we love you back. As we wait in the dark, we trust you. Good. Breathe in. Reach your arms high overhead. And as you exhale, twist arms open to the right. Press the right hip tip forward. Good. Draw your gaze back towards the right thumb. If you feel tightness in the low back, draw the right hand to the base of the spine. Now press the right hip forward as you reach with the left arm. Your gaze comes behind you. Legs are firm. Inhale, rise, stand tall, reach. Exhale, twist open to the left. Left arm draws behind you. If you did on the other side, draw the hand to the base of the spine. Press the left hip forward and now reach through the right fingertips. Draw your gaze behind you. Tuck the booty under. Good, inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, find chair pose and airplane arms behind you. Chair pose, our weight sinks into our heels. Now notice, if your chest is dropping, lift your chest so it stacks on top of your hips. Your spine is straight. Now as you tuck your booty under, reach your fingertips back, 
and slide your hips back. Good. So chair pose, your chest is lifted. Inhale, reach arms high overhead. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane the arms. Perhaps you brush the earth. Legs are firm. Do it again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, brush the arms. Last time. Inhale, reach through the darkness. We trust. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, stand tall. Goal post the arms. Lift the heart. Pause here. Take the curve out of the low spine and simply lift your heart towards the sky as you press hips forward. We give our hearts. We give thanks. Perhaps you smile. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center. Inhale, find halfway lift, firm legs, hands press into the flesh. Exhale, ball pose, heels lift, come up onto the toes, pause. Good, we'll begin to flow, flow breath to movement. Just as a seed grows in the darkness, so does our life when we have the light of Christ within us. There is light on the other side of darkness. We say thank you. Inhale, plant your heels. Reach your arms high overhead. Perhaps your gaze comes high. Exhale, arms twist open to the right. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, rise. Perhaps look high. Exhale, chair, chair pose, airplane arms. Inhale, reach one time. Exhale, airplane arms, brush the earth. Inhale, explode, open the heart, back bend. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose, come up onto the heels. Inhale, plant the heels, rise, look high. Exhale, twist right, firm legs. Inhale, firm belly, lift. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, lift arms high, look up. Exhale, chair pose, airplane the arms. Inhale, reach one time. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, rise, stand tall, open the heart, back. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose, lift the heels. Last time through, inhale, plant the heels, rise, look high. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist left. Good. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, chair plane. Brush the earth. Inhale, reach forward one time. Good. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, rise. Open the heart back. Exhale, forward fold. Hands through heart center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees. Plant the hands. Step back. Find high plank. Good, breathe in. As you exhale, send hips high, downward facing dog. Now we've been here today. So notice now as you pipe your hips up, exhale and melt your belly towards your thighs. Good, inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, hover the knees over the mat. Inhale, find plank. Exhale, down dog. We flow breath to movement. Each breath, we say thank you. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, hover. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Last time, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, hover knees. Breathe deep, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, kick the right leg high. Draw your toes towards your face, your heels towards the sky. As you exhale, draw up your knee to right elbow and pause. Make connection. Good. Inhale, kick the sky. Toes draw towards the face, heels towards the sky. Exhale, step through, find low lunge. Good. Notice here that if your knee is over the toes, draw the knee back over the ankle. Spider tip the fingers. Notice back heel. Draw it over back toes. Good. From here, begin to bend and straighten the front knee. If you have two blocks, you can prop yourself up. Perhaps you lengthen your stance if your hamstrings are tight like mine are. And simply move. Good. 
Where can we allow God to love us back to life? Good. On an inhale, drop your back, heel to the mat. Cartwheel the arms open, rise, lift the chest, we find warrior two. Good. Now notice the front knee draws towards the front pinky toe. Your back toes are facing forward at a 45 degree angle. Shoulders stack over hips. Now sink low into the front knee. Good. Tighten the core. Draw the hips under. Shoulders stack above the hips. I invite you to close your eyes. As you exhale, flip your palms open. The posture to receive. God, love Jesus back to life. And Jesus has allowed us to be adopted into God's family as Jesus' brothers and sisters as sons and daughters of the King Most High. Receive his love now. Exhale. Inhale. Pop up the back heel. Swing the left arm through. Go slow. You'll find crescent. So the back heel pops up. You come onto the back toes. Arms reach high overhead. From here, draw the shoulders back over the hips. Press the left hip forward and now sink low into your lunge. We find crescent. Breathe in. Exhale, sink low. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist arms open to the right. Hover back knee. Good. Draw your gaze towards your back hand. Can you bend the back knee more? You're here for three. Two, and one. Good. Plant your back heel. Open the arms. Find star pose. Toes are out. Heels are in. Arms are straight. Exhale, horse. Hands to heart center. Sink low into your hips. Draw your knees towards the back of the room. If you're leaning forward, draw your shoulders back over hips and now sink. Good. Perhaps you sway side to side. Good. Come to stillness. Keep your knees bent. On an inhale, reach your arms high. Receive God's love. Exhale, draw it into your heart. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale, draw in. Last time, ask God what it is you need. Reach high, receive it from him. Exhale, draw in, hands to heart. Inhale, rise, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, top of your space. Front toes face forward, back toes at 45 degree. Sink low. Inhale, straighten both legs, reverse triangle. High five the back wall, press hips forward. Exhale, firm core, cartwheel down. Step back, find high point. Good, send hips high, downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Gently drop to your knees for a moment. Send them wide to the outside edges of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Now sink your hips back to meet your heels, child's pose. Stretch the arms out in front of you and melt your forehead into the mat. The resurrection of Jesus is a moment that captures my awe. Perhaps it does that for you, too. As I read these words from Jesus, he said these to a group of people ten chapters before going to the cross. This is John, chapter 8, verse 12. Jesus spoke to the people and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. He says we will never walk in darkness, but he does not say that we won't experience it. One of the things I love about Jesus most is he never asks us to go where he has not been himself. 
and he obeyed his father, surrendered to darkness. And I think he did because he knew he would walk in the dark also. And I grew up thinking that darkness in my faith was bad, that I must lack faith or I must have disappointed God. But Jesus proves this is not true. He entered darkness, the dark night of the cross, death in the tomb, and he did that so we would be ensured that darkness would not have the final say. As we build our flow, what does it look like for you to trust Jesus in the dark? Perhaps you whisper a prayer to him now. Breathe in through the nose. Press your hands into the earth. Exhale. Send your hips high. Meet me in downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Take two, three breaths here. In through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Deep, breathe in through the nose. Trusting Jesus. Exhale the power of his resurrection over our life. Last time, seal the lips, breathe in. Exhale out through the nose, lips sealed. Keep your breath, inhale, kick left leg high. Draw the toes towards the face, the heel towards the sky. Exhale, draw knee to left elbow, pause. Good, inhale, kick high. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step through, low lunge. Bend and straighten on this side. Perhaps you spider tip the fingers. Make sure your knee stacks over your ankle. Good, find low lunge. Drop your back hip heel. Inhale, cartwheel the arms open, lift the chest, find warrior two, left side. Now you can surf it out here. Bend and straighten. And when you're ready, find stillness. Left knee bend, stacking over the ankle. Knee draws towards left pinky toe. Shoulders come over hips, and now reach through the front hand and the back hand as if someone's pulling on both. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink low. Good, inhale. Exhale, flip your palms open. Take a breath in. Fill with trust. Exhale, hope. Good, pop the back heels, drop the right arm and swing it through, find crescent. We're on the back toes. Back heel stacks over the toes. Now press the right hip tip forward as you guide the left hip back. Sink low into crescent. Notice your feet, they should be on railroad tracks. The, the same width as your hips. Good, breathe in. Exhale, twist open to the left in the same direction as the front knee. Bend the back knee. Hover here for three. Squeeze inner thighs for two. And one, drop your back heel. Star pose, arms reach high, toes out, heels in. Exhale, horse, hands to heart center, bend low. Draw your chest over your hips. This time, hands come to the thighs. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, drop back shoulder. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, drop front shoulder. Inhale, rise. One more time. Exhale, drop back shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop the front. Good horse pose. Hands come to heart center. Sink low. Build the heat. Where do you need to trust Jesus in the dark? Stay bent. Inhale, reach high. Look high. Exhale, draw in. Ask him again, where do you need trust? Inhale, fill up. Draw in the power of his resurrected life. As he did it for you and for me. Inhale, rise, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, top of the mat. Good, left toes are forward, back heel at 45 degrees. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight. High five the back wall. Exhale, cartwheel, hands to the earth. Step back, high plank. Send hips high, downward facing dog. Notice your playlist. 
If you're not there already, click on what a beautiful name. Take two moments now. What does the cross and the resurrected Jesus, what does that mean to you? And if you're not sure, simply ask him. Allow Jesus to love you to life. Draw a breath in. Draw a breath out. Inhale, kick right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Shh. Inhale, kick the sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, drop that heel, cartwheel the arms, warrior two. Exhale, flip the palms, sink into your lunge. Inhale, pop back heel high, come to crescent, swing through. Exhale, twist to the right, same direction as front leg. Good. Inhale, star pose, plant back heel, rise, toes out, heels in. Exhale, find chorus. May knees stay bent. Inhale, reach high, fill up. Exhale, draw hands to heart. Inhale, rise, star. Exhale, warrior two, top of mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, firm belly. Exhale, cartwheel to the earth, step back, high plank. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick the left high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, kick sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Drop back heel, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flip your palms, stay. Inhale, pop back heel, swing through, find crescent. Exhale, twist left, same direction as front leg. Inhale, plant back heel, straighten the leg, star pose. Exhale, horse. Inhale, stay bent, look up, fill up. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two, top of mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight. Exhale, cartwheel, hands to mat, step back, high plank. Breathe in. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Open up, exhale. We flow again, right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, plant back heel, cartwheel open, warrior two. Exhale, flip palms. Inhale, pop back heel, swing through, crescent. Exhale, twist right, bend back knee. Inhale, star, both legs straight. Good, sink low, horse. Stay low, inhale, fill up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise like the resurrected Christ. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight. Exhale, cartwheel down, hands to earth. Step back, high plank. Hip tie, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, kick the sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Exhale, flip the palms. Inhale, swing back arm forward, crescent. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, find horse. Stay low, inhale, reach high. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, rise, shine bright. Exhale, warrior two, top of mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight. Exhale, cartwheel down, hands to earth. Step back, high plank. Stay here. Building core heat. For four, three, two, one. Drop to elbows. Good. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. Inhale, drop right knee and lift. Drop left knee and lift. Touch right and lift. Touch left and lift. Two more. It's right and up. Left and up. One more. Right and up. Left and up. Stay here for three, for two, for one. Lower to your belly. 
So if we find sphinx, sphinx pose, so your toes press down into the mat. Set your elbows underneath your shoulders. Now draw your elbows towards your hip tips. Press your hands into the earth, and as you draw elbows back, notice how your heart lifts. Take in the name of Jesus. You're here for three, and two, and one. Good, gently press back, child's pose, grab a sip of water. We're here for three breaths. Hips meet the heels, hands reach far out in front of you. And the light of the world, he says, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. When you hear the words light of life, what comes to mind? Perhaps you face your palms open in a posture to receive. Jesus, we receive your light of life. Perhaps you'll allow the Holy Spirit to engage your imagination. What comes to mind when you hear Jesus say, I will promise you light of life? Lift your palms back down to the earth. Inhale, press hands into the mat. Exhale, send hips high, downward facing dog. We move through a few balancing postures. Inhale, kick the right foot high, toes draw towards your face. Exhale, step through, find the lunge. Now stay here. Spider tip your fingers to the earth. Begin to lift your chest off of the front thigh. Now as you press down, lift your arms and you find crescent. You rise. Draw your gaze two inches in front of the mat. Breathe in. As you exhale, press down into the right foot. Begin to launch. Arms come behind you. We find airplane. Perhaps the left toes touch the mat or begin to lift the left foot off the earth. Kick the back wall with a flexed foot. Slight bend in the right knee to support and protect your low back. Squeeze your elbow tips together. Shine your heart for three, two, one. Gently bend the right knee and swing the back leg through one leg standing. Perhaps you stop along the way to catch your balance. Left toes to the earth. Now lift the left knee. Shoulders draw away from ears. Belly is firm. Take a breath in. Left foot is flexed. Exhale, tree pose. So we kickstand the left ankle to the left shin. Perhaps your left toe is pressed into the mat. Hands come to heart center. To grow your tree posture, begin to inch the left foot up the leg, pressing the left foot into the shin or carefully drawing it above the knee and pressing it into the thigh. Begin to draw the left knee towards the back of the room. If you're sinking all your weight into your right hip, engage the muscles around the left thigh, lift the hips and stand tall. Tree pose. Hallelujah, he is risen. Invited to grow your branches. Reach high, arms towards the sky. Receive the light of life promised to us through Christ Jesus. You're here for three, two, one. Draw the left foot to the earth, hands to heart, shake out the legs. Good. Stand tall. Inhale, sweep arms high, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, right plank. Breathe in. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Inhale, kick the left. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step through, low lunge. Stack 
the left knee over the ankle. Press down into the left foot, fingertips hover. Now lift your chest, lift your arms, find crescent. Take a deep breath in. Sink low into your lunge on your exhale. Draw your gaze two inches in front of the mat. Breathe in. Exhale, press down into the left foot. Sweep arms behind you and fly. Perhaps right toes touch the earth. And now lift the back foot. Good, a flexed back foot. Drop your shoulders in line with your hips. Slight bend in the left knee. Now squeeze elbow tips together. You're here for three. We fly for two. And one. Bend the left knee. Engage inner thigh. Swing back leg through. Stopping along the way for balance. Find one leg standing. Right toes are towards the, guiding towards your face. Right knee is bent. Drop the right hip. Good. On an exhale, tree pose. Kick stand from the right foot to the shin. When you're ready, begin to draw the right foot up the leg. Press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Find that counterbalance. This time, make a fist at the base of the spine. Breathe in. As you exhale, draw the fist down and lift your heart in a posture of surrender. Just as Christ surrendered to the will of his Father, now because of Jesus, we can draw to the foot of the Father's throne and surrender also. If something you need to let go of today, do it now. Trusting the power of the resurrection to see you through on the other side. We're here for three. Two. One, draw your foot to the mat, hands to heart center, shake out the legs. Inhale, sweep arms high. Exhale, swan dive forward, leave with the heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose, come up onto your heels. Make your way to your back. We prepare for bridge pose. Knees are bent, feet plant into the mat. Good, now draw your middle fingers, tickle the backs of both ankles. Palms, palms press down. Exhale out your air. Contract the low abdomen. As you breathe in, press down into your heels and lift your hips. Palms press down into the mat. For more sensation, make a fist with your hands and slide your shoulder blades under your heart space. Draw your knees towards the front of the room. Squeeze inner thighs and watch the belly rise and fall. Breathe here for three, for two, and one. Sink your hips to the mat. Send your feet to the outside edges of the mat. Knees knock in. Draw opposite hand to heart. Opposite hand to belly is how you began class today. Feel your breath. Feel your heartbeat. Offer your heart. Lord, have your way. The power of the resurrection is only understood against the backdrop of darkness. trust Jesus in the dark. And we can also trust his resurrected life. He is a God of paradox. Good. Draw your knees into your chest. Find a moment as you look back over your day where did you see the light of life? Can you thank Jesus now, whether small or big?
kick both feet to the sky. Press your palms down into the mat. Draw your toes towards your face, legs up the wall. As you press down into your palms, squeeze your elbow tips in. Now send energy out through your heels. This is an active posture. We're here for three. We send the blood back to our heart and our head for two. And one. Happy baby. Bend the knees. Grab the inside edges of both feet. Draw your knees towards the earth through the low back to the mat. And gently rock side to side. I know for me, sometimes it's hard to see the light. So what does it look like to ask Jesus to give us eyes to see his light of life, the glimmer of light that is shining through? Jesus, give us your eyes. Draw your knees into your chest. Good. Send the left leg long. Glue the left ankle to the mat. Draw the right thigh to the outside edge of the right rib cage. Squeeze in. Good. Breathe in. Press the left foot down. As you exhale, left hand draws the knee across the body. Tee the right arm long and send your gaze right. Supine twist. He is risen. What do those words mean to you today? Inhale, draw your knees into your chest. Good. Send the right leg long. Glue your ankle to the mat. Squeeze left knee outside of left rib cage. Hug in. Exhale, draw right. With the right hand, draw the leg across the body. Knee stays bent, gaze goes left. Plug your left shoulder into the earth. He promises us his light of life. Abundance, not scarcity. Joy in the sadness. Hope instead of despair. Grace over judgment. May we live in this light, especially when the darkness of the world seems to be closing in. Inhale, draw knees into chest. Draw forehead to knee. As you exhale, final shavasana, send your legs long, your toes open to the outside corners of the mat. Today I offer a different posture. Take your arms wide and tee them out. Snuggle your shoulder blades under your heart space. Take a breath in through the mouth. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. to breathe through your natural breath. Allow your cheeks to soften. Allow your tongue to fall away from the roof of your mouth. Take a moment to be still here, knowing that I will guide you out. This posture representing that Jesus died on the cross This year, more than ever, I see this image of Jesus reaching his arms out wide in his moment of death and sacrifice, carrying the weight of all of our shame, of our guilt, our mistakes, our parts that feel too far gone, that are beyond help. With his arms wide open, 
as if to say, reaching for you, reaching for me, I love you. God our Father saying, I sent my son because I love you. I invite you now with your arms wide open. Take this opportunity to say, Resurrected Jesus means he makes old things new. He brings dead things to life. He knows suffering, betrayal, heartbreak. And he carried all of that so that we can have the light of life. Tell him you love him now. You should know that I will guide you out. Come stand. to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Ready to move on if you're ready. Send your hip, your hands high overhead, stretching as if the first stretch of the morning. On an exhale, roll to your side, resting your head on your bicep, drawing your knees into your chest. With your eyes closed, press up to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center, closing us in a moment of prayer. God, this Easter Sunday, we thank you for Jesus. Jesus, we thank you for your life. And may we live our lives every day saying we love you. We give you full access to our hearts. And may it be your light that shines in the darkness in us and through us. And we proclaim and claim your promise that the darkness will not overcome him. For he is risen. Thank you for practicing with me.